Well, I'll always stand for our First Amendment rights, and that includes the right to free speech and to protest. I'll tell you what, though, a looting, uh, uh, damaging property, that's not part of protesting. Uh, I was a small business owner. I worked with many small businesses, and I don't like to see the damage to our storefronts and to our properties. But absolutely, we do need to march. We do need to protest in a nonviolent and peaceful way to make sure that our voices are being heard. And I am proud of the Black Lives Matter uh, leaders here in our state who absolutely, uh, predominantly, have been making their voices heard in a nonviolent way. Teresa Greenfield, I do have a follow-up for you. The phrase defunding the police resurfaced out of those protests. What does that phrase mean to you? Ms. Greenfield, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, uh, the phrase defunding the police surfaced out of those protests this summer. What does the phrase defunding the police mean to you? Well, I don't support defunding the police, uh, so somebody else will have to give me that definition. But I do tell you this, we have got to look at reforms across all of our systems, uh, and certainly in policing. You know, I come from a, a long line of law enforcement officers. My father-in-law was a police officer, and you know, he always talked about serving and protecting, protecting and serving, and you know, he had a lot of pride in stopping by the sand lots to meet with the kids, knowing everyone in his community. So we've got to get back to building that strong community policing and we need to support our law enforcement officers by investing in a couple things. One, mental health care services. Too often we're asking our law enforcement officers to provide those mental health care services and our jails certainly have become a place where folks in crisis uh, are taken. We need to make sure that we invest in mental health care and then I think we need to absolutely make ban the box something uh, federally uh, throughout this country because it is is the best step to make sure that folks do not re-enter uh, and that they have the opportunity to get a job, provide for their families, and rebuild their lives.